Hello everybody. We're here on the play, game one, with our blue-white Emiria Titan deck. So, well, we have an Emiria here. To Gideon, to Cortisar, uh, yeah, sure. So unfortunately, uh, this hand will definitely telegraph exactly what we're doing, but I think that's okay. Didn't put Emiria in our deck to not play it, so. Let's see what our opponent is on here. Okay, Blooming Marsh. Elves, all right. So this will be interesting. I have not played against an elf deck in a very long time. Okay, second path. Should be a nice pickup here. I think we're going to go ahead and grab a Hallowed Fountain with this on the end step. Guildleaf Palace reveals Dwinin's Elite, okay. So I think we're going to save these paths uh, for if you control another elf. So I guess we'll path this just to deny them a token, because I want to play this Gideon next turn. Not crazy about that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what that does for us. Uh, get Hallowed Fountain. Ghost Quarter could be nice. So let's just go ahead and slam this Gideon. I suppose our opponent could have uh, like an Assassin's Trophy or an Abrupt Decay or something like that, but we'll see. And it's also quite possible that our Gideon's just going to get overrun shortly here, but hopefully we can find a Sweeper with this. So as long as we get white, pay white in this uh, guy, he'll stick around here. Okay, the clan caller. Other elves plus one plus one. Search your library for clan caller. Okay. So they've got a lord here. So of course, any time now that we can find a uh, sweeper would be great. Okay, so there's a titan. Right, so I think we'll. Just plus the Gideon on this. And then uh, I think we'll play out our Court Hussar here. So we need a blue, white, white. This will give us a blocker here for their clan caller. Uh, put the on stack there. Hmm. Let's see, do we want a Spreading Seas or do we want to keep just making land drops? I think maybe we just want to keep making land drops here. So then we'll just grab the Hallowed Fountain. Because I don't think interacting with their mana... I mean, we don't have any counter spells in our main deck. I'm going to put those back in any order. Because now we have <clears throat> uh, lands in hand to cast this cast this Sun Titan, and if we can stay alive until then, uh, I think we'll be in uh, decent shape. So there's the Dwinin's Elite. So they're going to get their, they're going to get their uh, token here. What are we going to do about that? Shaman of the Pack. Okay, so this one's going to deal damage to us equal to the number of elves we control. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and path, path the Lord here. Just to save, what is it, a point of damage? Yeah. Arguably, um, could have held the path there since, we, since we're looking for a sweeper anyway.
lone missionary. Okay. So let's go ahead and prevent damage on this one. Play a hallowed fountain tapped. Play out a lone missionary. Gain four out life. And we're just going to hold back here. Yeah, I think I think it was probably a mistake uh, pathing that in response because they're going to have they're going to have some other creatures that they can play that we're really going to want to um, we're really going to want to take care of here. They can't. Well, I guess they can attack, but they might have a collected company. So these are both coming at us here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and block. I mean, that's what these are here for, so. And next turn we get to play a Titan. Okay, there we go. So let's jump into our jump into our sideboard here. So we definitely want Settle the Wreckage. I think Celestial Purge is going to be pretty narrow. Uh, we could bring in Negate for things like Court of Calling or... Um, or collected company, but not in love with that. Relic doesn't do a whole lot. Damping sphere could be interesting, but let's look and see if there's anything really that we want to take out first. So I think, I think we're going to go down on the spreading seas. Those don't do a whole lot. Um, hmm. Gideon's probably not great in this matchup, just because they go so wide. Cut a pair of spreading seas. And do we want a way to try and interact with their collected companies? Hmm. I like the I like the having the bodies in here though. So if they play Nykthos. I mean we have if they play Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, we have Field Ruin and Ghost Quarter to manage that, so I'm not too not too concerned about that. Um, hmm. I think I will. I think I will bring in a pair of negate. A pair of negates just to try and stop some of their, some of their creature generating spells. I think that. I think that's relevant. Okay. I guess we'll submit like this. The Damping Sphere, I mean, yeah, they can have those turns where they're super explosive, but I don't know. There's no sideboard cards. We do have a path. We have lands and spells, uh, plus our Gideon again, so not a sweep, no sweeper, though. I think we'll try it. I think we'll try it. If they get a quick hand here... Uh, they might be able to get us. Okay, so there's a negate. So we'll just play the Emeria here. And go ahead and pass through. Because at least from what I last remember, they kind of have multiple ways that they can build the Elves deck where it can be either kind of like an aggro run you over kind of deck, or more of like a combo-y type deck. It looks like this is the, the aggro run you over hand, so I guess we probably should have uh, tried to get a... Probably should have tried to get a... Um, uh, hmm, a sweeper here. So let's see, this one is the basic lands? Yeah. Okay, so if we want this to come in untapped, we're going to need to... I don't think they're going to collect a company or quarter calling here, so why don't we just play this tapped for now. And unfortunately, I think Gideon's probably going to just be a speed bump. So unless they play a Lord or something here, Heritage Druid would be... Okay. They 
could also play lead the stampede. Okay, shaman of the pack. That's that's not great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six damage plus swing. Okay. The number of elves you control. I think we'll path that right now. Because we're going to want to we're gonna want to play something next turn, I guess. But I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get run over this this uh, this game. I think we needed a sweeper. So we take two this turn. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight next turn. Yeah, not looking not looking great here. So if we play Gideon, grab a plane, so we're 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we play Gideon and make an emblem. That way they just, or is it the same as, is making an emblem the same as, I guess if we plus it, I guess that's a little better. Uh, but if they have a lord in hand, we're just dead. If they have like a lord in hand or a collected company, we are just dead. So. Let's see what our opponent can do here. So they're going all for face, ignoring the Gideon, which if we draw one of our many sweepers will set us up pretty well. Okay, so there's the lead to Stampede. So unfortunately, even if we do draw a sweeper here, we are potentially still in a bad spot. Wow. Wow. Three mana draw five. That's pretty good. And they have the shaman, so the uh okay. Wow we okay, so is there anything we want to change up here? I don't think so. Again, this is a this is a match this is a matchup that's going to be really dependent on getting a sweeper, and so that's what we're going to want to see in our opening hands here moving forward. Uh, I'm not really reconsidering the spreading seas at all. Hmm. The negate is kind of since we're very a very tap out oriented deck. Um, it's going to be a little more difficult to get a value to get value from the negate, but. Uh, I still think it's better than better than some of our other options here. So we would like to play. Okay. So once again, we do not have a sweeper in this hand. But we have mana. I'm going to keep this because we can curve the wall into the Flicker Wisp. And I think that might allow us to, uh, that'll give us a shot to find what we're looking for here, so. We'll see if that's good enough to help us dig. Okay. Now this could be this could be another one of those matches again. I'm I'm so used to playing those. Ooh, okay, I'm so used to playing those draw go style decks that um, it might it might feel like uh, 
like I might feel like I have enough tools to get there, but I, I kind of forget that I just don't have the draw power in a in a traditional control deck, and that so the starting my starting hand is uh okay there's Titan starting hand is much more uh like it matters much more which cards you start with in hand because I'm not gonna have the tools to really dig for the cards I'm looking for, but we'll see how this we'll see how this pans out. Opponent's going to get to flood the board here. Yep. Hopefully this isn't an Azuri. Okay, Archdruid, that's still pretty bad. Mm. They still have three cards in hand here. Okay, so if they have another Lord, we could be looking at taking a, a huge hit. So I think what we're going to do here, because so our opponent also probably plays some number of Collected Company, so let's see. We can Phantasmal Image our Wall of Omens. Draw a card, hold, keep a Path to Exile. I kind of like that. Because uh, Flicker Wisp on Wall of Omens doesn't seem too great. Um, hold up. There's, I don't see a reason to hold up all three of our mana this turn. So yeah, why don't we go ahead. Our opponent's, opponent's uh, tapped out. Why don't we play Phantasmal Image and target Wall of Omens? So now we have an additional blocker, and we get to draw another card. It is another Sun Titan. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I want to stop on my opponent's upkeep and path this archdruid just so they if they have mana to make they need to make it now so this does mean that they might be able to find like a, or to cast on Azuri or, or something like that but we just can't have them making making all that mana I don't think they can kill us with Azuri this turn. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Azuri is an elf uh, that can, for a single green, he's a three mana elf, I think he's a two two, and for a single mana, green mana, he can regenerate another target elf, and for I th uh, like four or five mana, he can uh, overrun the team. Everyone gets plus three, plus three, and trample, or plus two, plus two, and trample, something like that. He's the, he's, he's a finisher. Next end step. Okay. So it looks like our opponent is still setting up here. This could be a collected company. It's a shaman of the pack. Okay. So our opponent only has one card left in hand. Um, it looks like they're playing it. Could be a company. Another lead to Stampede. Only only three this time? Okay. So they have another Shaman in the back. That's that's just bad news. So we need a sweeper here. Um, or they're just going to drain us out and then swing in and kill us. Okay, so that's an Emiria. That's not going to do it. So let's see. Opponent plays Shaman of the Pack. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Then they need to... Another Elves. 
Druids. The Arch Druid. And they have two Lords. Alright, so I guess we're on the uh, play Flicker Wisp. I think we'll play, I guess I should have played Island there, play Emiria. I guess there's an argument for playing Island there to tap for the colorless in the Flicker Wisp mana cost. Yep, yep, see, there's, yeah, there's the path. Mm, that's too bad. We definitely got punished there for our sequencing. All right, so there's the Arch Druid. And I think pretty sure we're dead here. Oh, second Lord. Okay. So they have one, two, three, four, five attackers. All right, so here's the rub. We can block Shaman, we can block the Heritage Druid. Um, they don't have a way to make another black mana for the Shaman. Yikes, all right, yeah, I guess we're dead. Well, they have one, two, three, four attackers. We have three blockers, so I guess we're not completely dead. All right, so we're going to block, we're going to block, and we're going to block, one, two, three, four, that'll only be five lands, and then, uh, okay, so take our four here, and uh, our top card needs to be Supreme Verdict, or we lose. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here, because even if we, even if we had a, um, even if we would have drawn a, uh, Subtle Wreckage or something like that, they are, they, our opponent just plays this next turn and we die, so. Would it have made a difference? No, it would not have made a difference if we would have left up the path, but even still, that was a little bit of a sloppy, sloppy play, and I guess, looking, in retrospect, what we would have had to do here I guess is we needed to mulligan to a sweeper. I guess that's I guess that's the answer. We cannot rely on spot removal against elves. It's just not going to get us there. I think that's why we lost the last game, and that's why we lost this game. Apparently, did not learn my lesson uh, from the other game. But either way, this this was a uh, this was a fun matchup. Um, it wasn't nearly as insane as some of the other uh, decks in the format that we could have been up against. Right, there's just there's just nothing we can do here. Yeah, no, okay. But uh, yeah, that was those were good games, and I'll catch you in game two.